I convinced myself I could win you over with a, a daring act of devotion. Maybe I could make you see the real me. You could see past my physical defect. Anyway, I hope that I could see right through you. I could see to your most obvious weakness. Your ambition. You wanted to leapfrog all the other recruits and the uh, seasoned field operatives. You wanted a chance to bring down the biggest baddie on our watch list, the dreaded Cesar Faison. And you knew him, didn't you? You knew that he was already fixated on you. You saw an in. You saw his weakness. I hated him. I really wanted to just destroy him. You know, I saw you that night. I saw you when you stole away from school. I followed you. Not that you would have noticed me. Stopped me. No, this isn't about me. Are you sure? I am just giving you a story from my perspective. Do you want me to stop? No. I followed you, and I watched as you blended in, in Piccadilly. I watched you go through a door, and minutes later, you came out in full disguise. A common call girl, with a blonde wig and plunging neckline and stiletto heels. You fooled everyone. Not me. I knew it was you. And I uh, followed you out of London. I trained to cook them. Went on to a pub where you knew Faison would be. He was quite drunk when you sat down next to him. And you got him a great deal drunker, didn't you? Before you left together. was flying all around school the next day that you had stolen devastating intel from the dreaded Cesar Faison. You had spiked one of his ops and nobody knew how you did it. But I knew. And I know you got a lot more than you bargained for that. Oh, stop it! I don't want to hear this. Okay. okay, I can't make you stay. But you've made it this far and if you leave now, I promise you, you are missing the best part of the story. <laughs>